Hi folks, Tony Knight and Dog Listener here, and this short film is especially for any of you out there who dread the sound of the doorbell of visitors coming to the house because the dog loses the plot and you can't get the visitors in and hold the dog back at the same time and the dog's jumping all over them, they're getting paw prints down, they're never going to visit you again. You know what I mean. It's not exactly the calmest procedure. Well, here's a short film to show you how to get the people in and your dog sorted nice and calmly with your pulse rate down under control. And when the doorbell rings, or it could be a knock at the door, if your dog reacts, then you stay calm. What I'm going to do here with Gypsy is I'm just going to go to the door, I'm going to ask my visitors to wait, they're not going to go anywhere, they're not going to say, no, if you don't open that door in 10 seconds we're off, and then I'm going to put Gypsy in another room. Now it could be a bedroom in this case, or it could be a garage, it could be a laundry. And now I'm going to let the visitors Hi, in. Hello, come in. And there's Joe <laughs> with Parker. Now I'm going to get Joe and Parker to sit down and then I'm going to bring Gypsy out. Now if you bring your dog out and it's pulling like crazy to get to the visitors, that's an indication that the dog thinks it's got to get there first. And as you can see, although Gypsy's not really reacting to it, I'm just going to do a little bit of stop, start, change direction and take my time to feel that I actually got there first. And now what I've done is I've created a nice bit of space between me and Gypsy and Joe and Parker. What I'm doing here is just making sure that you know, if something spooks her, that she's not too close. As you're going to see right here, she tries to get there because Parker's moved. Now I've got control of her because I've got the leash on. You can create more space than this if you like. In fact, I'm going to do that in a moment. And you'll see Gypsy's not too keen on it. But the important thing is to have that space there. And once you've got the space and the control, you know that the visitors aren't going to get jumped all over. And if the dog's calm, it stays. If the dog overreacts or gets really agitated, then without a word, you simply pop it back into the other room and wait for it to calm down. And you see she's not really happy about that, but I'll just be gentle with her. All I wanted to do is to relax in company. Now what I've also done is I've explained to the visitors, pay no attention to Gypsy initially until she's calmed down and left you alone. Because after any separation or even when visitors turn up, the status must be re-established with dogs. They need to know where they fit in. This initial almost lack of contact is actually communication with the dog. The dog realises it's not a problem. Now Joe's happy for me to let her off and now Gypsy can go and explore. And before you know it, you've got a dog that's calm and relaxed, even when stuff's going on around it which it doesn't understand, like for example, puppets. She's looking at it, and now she's thinking, is that a problem? She's looking to me, and because I'm fine with it, that helps her calm down. Good girl, Gypsy. Trust me, the sooner you can get this under control, the sooner you can start to invite your friends and family back without them fearing what's going to happen. And you're going to be much happier about introducing them to your dog, and vice versa. Well, I hope that's made sense. Thanks for listening. See you again another time.